is a very simple animation of a cell undergoing a normal mitosis. And the pathologist can assess mitoses for frequency and normality. So first of all, what is a mitosis? It is a complex process of the division of a nucleus into two. And as you can see from the animation, the appearance of the mitosis is pretty much a mirror image. And it is the mitotic figures that the pathologist will assess. So what are mitotic figures? Well, these are the spindle-shaped figures created by the chromosomes in the nuclei during mitosis. And this is what mitotic figures look like in the animation. And when you see mitotic figures, these may be part of the normal process of tissues growing or repairing. So the number of mitotic figures is increased during growth, high in tissues with rapid turnover such as bone marrow, lymph node, germinal centers, etc., and increased in conditions such as hyperplasia and neoplasia or cancer. Here is a germinal center of a lymph node. This contains a normal mitotic figure. One thing that needs mentioning is that the proliferation of the cells is counterbalanced by programmed cell destruction and this is called apoptosis. So assessment of mitotic figures is a really useful tool for assessing how rapidly a tissue is growing and whether the cells are behaving normally or not. Of course mitotic figures are really a spectrum of behaviour of cells. So benign or normal tissues will have no or very few normal mitotic figures with no abnormal mitotic figures. But at the other end of the spectrum, highly malignant tumours will tend to have many mitotic figures and many of those will be abnormal mitotic figures. And this is a very simple illustration of a typical abnormal mitotic figure and this is a tripolar mitotic figure that you often see in malignant tumours. Here is a good example of an abnormal mitotic figure in a high-grade transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder. So assessing mitotic figures is a really useful tool. So they may be normal or abnormal, more than expected, and they are very useful as a prognostic indicator in assessing certain tumours such as breast cancer. Of course assessing mitotic activity needs to be standardised and the way this is done is by counting the number of mitotic figures per 10 high power fields. So that would be using a times 40 objective lens with a times 10 eyepiece. And the expected mitotic activity will vary depending on the tissue type and the tumour type. You can give some indication by assessing the mitotic activity whether the tumour is likely to be benign, malignant or indeterminate. And assessing mitotic activity is an essential tool for grading certain tumours and giving a prognosis as to the expected behaviour of the tumour. And breast cancer is a particularly good example in this respect. And finally, here is a highly malignant tumour with a lot of mitotic figures. This is an anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Yeah.